Today we're going to be tying a bead head uh, egg pattern for winter steelhead. I've got a C14S size 4 uh, egg hook here from Gamagatsu. I've got a fluorescent orange 532nd bead. I'm using U140 in the fluorescent orange. I'll start the thread there right behind the bead. I'll go all the way back to just past the barb. At that point, I'm going to take a small gather of UV ice stub. This is UV orange. I'm going to tie in a clump. Just kind of have the lump of dubbing and just tie it kind of right in the middle. Make a couple wraps to make sure that it's really locked down there and then just pull the excess material kind of off the back. Might trim it just a little bit. Next thing I'm going to use is a piece of the Steelhead Stalkers UV yarn. It's a wool material, uh, so it's real soft, um, but it also has kind of that snaggy effect of the old Polly Rossboro tying fuzzy nymphs routine. So the fish are going to hold on to it just a little bit longer. I'm going to do the same thing with this as I did with the dubbing. Kind of tie it midsection, a couple wraps to secure it down. Again, I'll trim off some excess. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, uh, egg veil. And this UV colored materials for wintertime, hot kind of a little higher greener water, great visibility. I mean, hands down, the light that the, the colors of these flies are receiving at depth is only UV once you get past about six feet. So I mean, it kind of makes sense. Let's, let's use materials that the fish are not going to have a whole real difficult time uh, tying. So all I did was just grab a small lump out of the, uh, the pack there, tied it, it also right in the middle. Just kind of wrap that around there and kind of just pull it tight and then run your scissors along it to help shear it off just a little bit. And then I'll just take a little bit of the UV dubbing again. Same kind of routine, I'm just going to kind of sandwich it in there, right there in front of the bead. So none of this is like the traditional egg, yarn, fluff and trying to make them perfect. This is kind of just a tie-in and gather met method. Tie-in and gather, yeah, a lot easier to tie. Uh, a lot of people have problems with those compression wraps on traditional egg yarn. You know, McFly Foam did a great job of making a product that's easier to tie with, but still relatively intense and also a lot harder on your scissors and, and equipment. So something to think about there. Uh, I'm just going to take the thread, kind of make a bunch of wraps behind the bead to jam it just a bit. And just whip finish right there behind the bead. Real easy fly to tie. One of my favorites. Hope it's one of yours too.